All right, so today we're gonna have a Q&A together. I just love watching Q&As because I get to know people and I feel like you'll get to know me better and we'll just get to know each other better. Let's dive right in. Thank you so much for all your questions. I asked you yesterday and you guys sent me so many. So we're gonna try to make this video short though. Also, this is me with straight hair, okay? <laughs> In case you didn't recognize me. Uh, first question. Did you study and are you still a student? Yes, of course. I studied. I studied years ago. It seems like in another life. But yeah, I am a graduate business school person, person, student. And I studied in Canada and I graduated in 2014. And I was a financial accountant i was in audit finance yeah am i still a student i wasn't until this september where i started studying again i am studying to become a mental coach for performance nighttime routine maybe a video on it yeah yeah if you want a video i i can make a video i i don't have a routine that i keep all the time but Ideally, my routine would be to have a shower, have dinner, be a little bit on Instagram for my personal and then go to bed without any phone and take a book and read and set my intention for the next day and also write like things that I've been grateful for for the day. This is kind of like my favorite routine that I honestly don't have all the time. Obviously I can make like a more detailed video because yeah, like I'm probably forgetting things. <laughs> Do you have tips for being vegan in France? I'm coming soon, I'm a little scared. Don't be scared. <laughs> Although it can be scary because yeah, we do have a lot of cheese and meat and things like that, but we also have a really good um, diet culture, I feel like. We are very conscious of like seasonal produce and fresh produce and people love to cook and people love to enjoy meals and take time to cook. It's a very social thing. So there is that. A lot of people are open now to vegetarian options. We actually have a lot of vegetarian um, in France. I have done actually, <laughs> I've just thought about it. I have actually done an ebook that's five years how to be vegan in france how to survive as a vegan in france or how to become vegan in france so i tell you everything i tell you all the dishes dishes that we have that are naturally vegan i tell you how to order vegan things how to check if things are vegan or not I tell you a lot of tips things that you absolutely need to bring to friends because we don't have um so yeah, I think it's definitely a good investment if you want to know more. Otherwise, also check my stories because I might recommend places. But yeah, good luck. <laughs> Who are the people you love to watch on YouTube and Instagram? That's a really fun question. On YouTube, I honestly don't watch that many vegan people because I find that sometimes it's a little... It makes me feel a little anxious because I'm not as good as them <laughs> uh, in terms of like content that they put so yeah however I love to follow Maddie who's vegan I'll put the name because I'm very bad at names but yeah Natasha Ocean I love her she's hilarious Whitney Simons Jessica Oli I love to follow Romy Street the model uh, she's really fun. And then I follow like a bu bunch of educational things. I follow also a lot of French people. Um, who do I actually watch? Let me see. Pick Up Limes, Stefanos Titipas, <laughs> Elsa Wholesome Life. I have like soccer things, Chloe Morello and makeup. Okay, these are the people that I like to watch. Chloe Kian, I love her. She's my friend. That's it. On Instagram, you can go through my following list and you'll figure out who I follow. What is your favorite yoga pose? Hmm. Maybe King Pigeon. Uh, yeah, maybe King Pigeon. And if not, um, I love Parshva Konasana. <laughs> I don't know why. I love it really much. And I also love Hollow Back. It feels really good. Anahata too. Puffy bows. I noticed you wear more makeup now. 
which is so pretty. Why the change? Love you. Love you too. Yes, have you noticed how makeup-y I am? I like, I even put some eyeshadow. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, very good question because I've been wearing more makeup. Thanks for noticing. Yeah, I would say two two reasons. The major, major reason is that I found it so difficult sometimes to work at home and being at home, I stayed in my sweatpants, pyjama and it's hard to get things done when you can just relax and be in your clothes and be like not so... I don't know, it just didn't make me feel like I was about to tackle things. And so now I really make the conscious effort to wear normal clothes even if I'm at home. And also wearing makeup makes me feel like, yeah, I don't know, just more in a productive feel. This is the max makeup I wear, so it's not that much. But <laughs> my yoga classes, I don't know, like I like when yoga teachers make themselves a little bit presentable. Uh, not that not wearing makeup is not presentable, but you know what I mean, so... <laughs> the other thing is that... Um, well, I enjoy wearing makeup. Okay, I just talked for like 10 minutes. <laughs> the movie just stopped recording. Oh my gosh, my life. Okay, I think I was just talking about my skin, but yeah, I just noticed that makeup just made my skin healthier, more protected, and... Yeah, that being said, I don't find myself more or less beautiful with or without makeup. It's not a confidence thing. It's just that I enjoy playing with makeup. I've always enjoyed, but I have a phase where I didn't really see the point of it. And now I just like to, I don't know, like change it up. Also being more into fashion like I was before. Um, just being back to my normal self. <laughs> um, but that's it. Let me know if you want like a... Makeup routine, I could be a beauty blogger one day, maybe. Next question we have... Opinion on protein powders. I firmly believe that you should try to get your protein from whole plants food first and, um, and you will see that it's very easily attainable if you actually start looking into it a little bit. However, I do think they can be a useful solution for some time where you really need it. Example, I was training for the marathon. I was doing a lot of endurance training. Endurance training taps into your calves and then it taps into your protein, your muscles when it doesn't have energy anymore. And yeah, protein powders were a way for me to just make sure that I had a sustained amount of protein. And when I also don't have time to eat or I'm on the go and I eat at a very odd um, time of the day, like 3 or 4 p.m., I usually prefer to have a smoothie and then I would add protein powder to my smoothie. But it's definitely not something that I rely food on and I really don't think you need it if you are not doing any sort of um, crazy amount of exercise, like you really don't. But yeah, it's helpful. Just don't rely on it for getting your protein. What's your biggest life regret? I really don't have any, I think. I can't find anything. Are you able to live off your blog, Instagram, YouTube partnerships? Okay. <laughs> I think I've answered very frankly to that question over the years. Every time people ask me if I was making money on my blog, I've been telling you. I've been always very transparent with my partnership, I think. Um... Am I able to live off that? No. Frankly, no. Being a yoga teacher really does help me to financially support the work that I do with my blog. I have months where I barely make 100 euros with my blog, so definitely not. I have months where I have partnerships and then I get to have more money, but it's like top max maybe a thousand that I've earned so far, so no. However, I would love to be more efficient in promoting my own products, my own ebooks, because I do actually have a lot of ebooks and yeah, I just want to be better at this because I find it the best way to engage with my community and be, be of help and promote something that I'm so proud of because I've written it, but yeah. No, not now. <laughs> what made you want to become a yoga teacher? 
Um, I did a Q&A about yoga teacher and I don't think I ever answered to this question. However, I didn't want to become a yoga teacher at first. I just wanted to do a training so that I could share tips with you that would be accurate and not crazy tips. Like a lot of people share tips and they're not, they're not trained on things. So that is what made me do a training as well as just knowing more about yoga for myself. I wasn't planning to teach, not really actually, um, but it just happened. <laughs> Anything you've changed in your perception to veganism, eating habits since you are vegan? That is a really good question because I don't think my perception on veganism has ever changed for me veganism is really doing your best and doing the smartest things for example i have kept and i still use leather goodies good like leather go goodies goods like my leather bag i still have a canada goose that i had when i lived in canada i see that throwing away the item is like way less smart than keep using it because I do like it and it's useful for me so I've always kind of find the balance and obviously like I've always said if um, I ever get sick because of being vegan then I would stop it and like that's never changed however I've always done it for the animals my health and the planet and that I've never changed you know I have an ebook to become vegan with recipes and tips and this year I've totally updated it. So I've like updated the template, the photos, the recipes. I added a lot more tips. Anyways, I was reading what I wrote three years ago, two years ago, and pretty much everything was put on. Like I still think everything I've written. So yeah, I don't think I've changed that much in my perception and in things. However, I do think that I mentioned that oil wasn't unhealthy and I do not think this anymore. I think oil can be really nice if someone is trying to eat healthier and needs a little bit of oil to make the food taste better. Like, yeah, go ahead. You know, of course, deep fried food are not healthy, but that's another topic. If you've used metal straws before, how do they compare to the bamboo wood ones? I mean, I have both. Uh, how do they compare? I think I prefer the bamboo one just for not having metal in my mouth however the bamboo one do stain so if i make like a blueberry smoothie they will stain a little bit for a while and then of course with the wash and the wash it goes away um you cannot put like things in the dishwasher bamboo and wood and you can with the metal otherwise i don't see any difference on the environment uh obviously bamboo and wood is like compostable which metal is not so yeah a little bit better where are the top three places you would like to travel to and why i would love to travel to i would love to go to japan i would love to go to south africa peru i think why or brazil because it looks sunny it looks really nice it looks exotic in the way that it's not a culture that i've ever experienced before so that's why how did you start becoming how did you start being an influencer <laughs> i don't know i just posted random shit and people started to follow me that's all i honestly just started like this um how can i start in yoga i work out and sometimes do some position but i never really practice yoga um tutorials are coming on my youtube channel there are a few already on youtube you have tons um, search in your area, you might find some good classes, even free sometime, or on the nation. Do I count calories? I, I use not to, and then recently, if you've seen my latest video, I do count calories. As of now, just as a transition phase to teach my body what's what again, because I've had some hormonal issues. I talked about that in my two previous videos, so three, sorry second last and second second last video so make sure you check them out if you want to understand why i think we've we've done it thank you so much for asking all these amazing questions i hope i answered everyone's question 
just one last thing very 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 exciting advent calendar coming on my instagram december 1st you guys are not ready i'm so excited i have worked so so hard to get you amazing deals with the brands that i love the brands that i worked with everything is going to be non-sponsored so i do not earn a single amount of euro for this it's all because i want to give back to you guys yeah hopefully you'll also participate in so it can be like really beneficial for everyone but yeah there's going to be a lot of posts a lot of giveaways not every post is going to be a giveaway but i really want to make this um calendar a really fun way to get to know each other engage with each other write about topic different topics every day it's gonna be a lot of fun so make sure you follow me on instagram if you already don't follow me on there and yeah i think i've talked too much i love you guys so so much and i will see you very soon